because Yorkshire's famous for cricket. That's not interesting. Oh, and then there was a TV show called Last of the Summer Wine, which is about three very badly dressed old men <laughs> who <laughs> fell over and everything they ever did went wrong. It was rubbish. Yeah, terrible. I don't terrible. know why that took off. Um, <laughs> Car making, well, let's put it this way, it's not exactly the Detroit of the British Isles. <laughs> no, it's not. But there is a lot of motoring related stuff here this week because we're in town. <laughs> so, let's get on with the show. Yes, let's. We begin in Victorian times when James May was a little old lady. <laughs> See, back then, Gentlemen of means... Rich people in tweed suits. Yes, rich people in tweed suits would take what was known as the Grand Tour. They'd go off to France or Italy and they'd spend a few months learning about culture and wine and music. Nowadays, of course, everybody goes to Magaluf and learns about beer and vomit and chlamydia. <laughs> yeah, now, we think this is a real shame. So Jeremy and I went off to Italy to do our own modern take on the Grand Tour, a wonderful, inspirational journey that not only gave its name to this show, but also to a thousand GT cars. Grand Tourers. Our start point was the Tuscan hilltop city of Siena. Home to the most exciting horse race in the world, the Palio. It was the beginning of what would be a very fabulous and very cultured journey. We'd visit the magnificent cities of Florence and Bologna and Verona on our way to the finishing point in the most magnificent city of them all, Venice. The cars we'd be driving were fabulous too. James had chosen the Rolls-Royce Dawn, a new two-door drophead version of the Ghost. And I'd be in the DB11, the latest in a long line of elegant and beautiful Aston Martin Grand Tourers. Even its door mirrors are beautiful. Its wheels are beautiful. This is, this is one of the most beautiful cars I've ever seen. Shame it's brown. It isn't 